finally, Perfect Keto made a product with me personally in mind. Now they have barista blends. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday, we go live on keto beyond the couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time Perfect Keto comes out with something for a coffee lover like me, you'll be alerted to it. So these actually showed up a couple of weeks ago and when I saw them, the card said, hey, they're coming out on the 16th, can't talk about them ahead of time. So I hid them from Rachel and then forgot about them. You were smart to hide them though because I would not have waited until the 16th to try them. So I'm really excited about this. This is a barista blend per from Perfect Keto and it's a combination of collagen and MCTs, which is great because we already like their collagen. Yeah. And we already like their MCT. So now instead of mixing two different things, you get it all in one. I mean, I use all of their products to mix into my coffee. Usually like that's how I use them, but I'm excited because this is designed specifically for coffee. So the cool thing is not only do we get something where you don't have to like basically do a science experiment of like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Right. It's also new flavors. Okay. So we have two flavors. We have the white chocolate raspberry. And this one is hazelnut. This one sounds really good, especially considering I love the raspberry coffee from a Nespresso. In fact, it was a limited edition, so I bought like 12 sleeves of it. I do not like it. So I'm interested to see if the white chocolate is stronger than the fruit taste because I like raspberry sometimes, but it has to be just right. So here's what we're gonna do. I did not make the raspberry coffee. Thank you. I've got two cups of coffee here. Just plain old coffee. Regular coffee, 7.7 .7 ounces. So this is an actual cup, not a Joe and Rachel cup. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. And uh, this is just plain coffee, no fancy flavors, nothing like that. Now we tend to make our coffee by putting stuff in it and we throw it in the Vitamix. But something like this, we're gonna probably travel with it. We're probably oh, gonna yeah. keep it in our car, our suitcase. Uh, we're heading out for the Tampa RV show. Uh, if it's good, we haven't tried it yet. <laughs> if it it's tastes good, it's unopened. coming with us. Uh, we're gonna bring it with us because then you have something where you don't have to have a liquid kind of creamer. And when you're on the road, it can be difficult because gas stations don't tend to have heavy whipping cream. No. And a lot of times, even in Wawa, the butter is not real butter. No, it's not. It's usually like a whipped margarine. But the key is gonna be, for me, it needs to mix like dust. I don't want to have a bunch of like giant clumps in it. Well, that's why I was going is that normally we use a Vitamix and the Vitamix, there's no such thing as clumps. It pulverizes everything. A lot of times we do have one of these with us though. So. I don't need it to mix with a spoon, although mixing with a spoon would be a bonus. Yeah. If it can mix with this, I will be happy. I travel with this in like a purse. <laughs> Which one are we going with first? Um, Let's go with this, because I'm very interested to see. I think it's so funny when you ask me and then like, you've guessed wrong. Well, ladies first, but <gasps> I'm allowed to. Oh. I'm allowed to want a certain one. Oh my gosh. Oh. The smell. Okay. Is there a scoop in this guy? There's a scoop in here, I so there must it. be a scoop in there. Yeah. So this smells like raspberry cheesecake. It really does. That smells delicious. Now I like raspberry cheesecake keto chow. So again, I mean, raspberries hit or miss with me. It could be awesome okay. or terrible. Wait, I want to do this first. Taste the powder on its own. Yeah, what are you doing? I thought we were doing this one first. Okay, well that's good, yeah. Okay. I was gonna just mix it in both. Clean us, get a clean finger that doesn't now taste like hazelnut. Smells here. so good. Wait for me. That is good. Oh my gosh. That is really, really good. Okay, so if, if my coffee tastes like that, 
Yeah. I will be ordering a lot of this. That tastes really, really good. Okay. That is so, not like a nasty raspberry taste. A serving size is one scoop, which is supposed to be 7.9 grams. Here's the thing. I'm lazy and I'm never carrying a scale with me. So no. we're just gonna do a pack scoop and, and wonder what that is. I look weird enough in Wawa when I am bringing in my own powders yes. to like mix with their coffee. I'm not bringing a scale too. Okay, ready? Okay. Can I do this without making a mess? <laughs> Another reason to have a big, giant, deep coffee mug. It doesn't have to be like filled to the top, but it gives you space to like whip things up without spilling. You gotta practice with this anyway because we're bringing like the camping coffee mugs and those are like a little bit more shallow. It does froth. Look at that. It That's frothed beautiful. up nice. I, I don't see any clumps. Do you see clumps? I guess there are a couple floating in there. I see a couple. There's a couple of... But Clumps not like giant. I've seen way worse. I would say it's similar to the MC2O powder, but I think the MC2O powder definitely doesn't thinner. clump as much. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna run it for another couple seconds. You know, we're also like pretty scared of this coffee mug. Again, I think if you use it in a regular Rachel and Joe mug, you're gonna be more confident to not like spill everywhere. Looking good. That's yeah. It. I don't see any clumps No, I in think there. you took care of it, but it's got a nice foam on top. I do like the foam. Me too. Okay. I'm gonna try it first, since I picked the flavor. Don't, don't look at me though. Mmm. That is very good. Raspberry good. That is, that's really, really good. Maybe it's just the coffee that's throwing me off when there was like a raspberry flavored coffee itself. The raspberry in the raspberry Nespresso is pretty powerful. I like just, it comes through. It just doesn't do it for me, but that is really good. That's okay. not like instant stomach ache for me because that's like that, that coffee is not, ugh, I get a stomach ache, but this okay. tastes really good. It tastes good. I've got some comments, but we're going to save comments. We're going to do a five things. Okay. Let's do this before you're going to put that in there. You want to try? Um, I'm going to get a spoon. Okay. okay. So I'm still hanging in air, but you want to try it? That seems subtle. Now I'm not a hazelnut fan. It seems subtle. Mmm. Maybe it's just that your finger is really sweet. Ah, uh, that is good. That is really good. It's almost like a border lining, a gingerbread taste to me. I need to taste it again. You gotta taste it again. Right? I, I could see a, a hint of gingerbread in that. Yeah. Again, I mean, hazelnut to me, never my go-to. Yeah. Okay. So what if you don't have one of these? I, I, I have oh, a good. feeling that like, it's not gonna mix well with a spoon. But give it a try, because everybody doesn't have a blender. The problem is you have like the crema from the coffee, like because of course we use an espresso. That's looking good. But I am, I'm pretty impressed. It's mixing. I mean, like I said, you have the crema, so I, I can't really tell, but I'm looking like. I'm seeing a little bit of stuff floating. But with a spoon, I, I would say it's equivalent to using coffee meat. Yes. Right? Yes. It's not like coffee meat mixed perfectly. Do you remember no. the old fashioned coffee meat? I do. I've eaten a, like a ton of it, a metric ton of that stuff over the years. Okay. I, I can. I can get on board with this. I can get on board with that. Mi it mixing into coffee nicely is like important because I don't want to have like a clumpy mess. All right, I'm gonna take the oh, first one. What sip. am I doing? I'm gonna drink the other one because I have a couple of comments. I just, I wanna take a little sip. The hazelnut smell comes through. Yeah. As soon as your nose hits the coffee. That is tasty. It's not translating as sweet as that one is, weirdly. Because when you tasted it, like just the powder. It's strong. It tasted very, very strong and sweet, but it it's like nice and subtle. Okay, don't like touch it. these anymore. Okay. Or at least that one, this one too late. Um, let's do five things. Five things. Five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does the keto based on nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, 
would we recommend it? Number one is the ingredients. Perfect Keto tends to be good quality ingredients. So we'll take a look here. Um, okay. So it's kind of weird because you have supplemental facts and then other ingredients. So on the supplemental facts, we're going to jump down. It says hydrolyzed bovine collagen. So I'm happy with that. And then medium trained triglycerides oil powder, which is MCT from coconut oil. Other ingredients is coconut cream powder, natural flavors, sea salt, gum acacia, and stevia. That's why it doesn't have, it's not tremendously sweet. It's a no. little bit of stevia. Um, what about that one? And malic acid. And malic acid, yes. This one is same thing. Um, the collagen, the MCT, coconut cream powder, natural flavor, sea salt, gum acacia, stevia leaf extract. Oh, so it doesn't have the malic acid in this one. Okay. All right. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? So a scoop of this one, and there's 30 scoops in a bag, 30 servings in a container, 30 calories, which is, you know, good. I'm sure people are excited about that. Um, let's see, 1.5 grams of fats, four grams of protein, two total carbs per scoop. Okay, and a lot of that is probably the gum acacia, and then you have the coconut cream powder. Yeah. Um, doesn't say about fiber, but again, I know that you do have that in there, but again, we're all about total carbs, so I don't, don't really matter. care how much fiber is in there. I'm going to count two. Number three, how does it taste? It tastes really good. I mean, it's still raspberry. Berry is never my first pick. I mean, I'm glad that I drank it and I don't have a stomach ache. Um, but I don't pick berry electrolytes. Uh, I'm not usually a huge berry fan. Raspberry cheesecake keto chow is like the rare, you know, berry thing that I really like. So I am not surprised that my favorite is actually the hazelnut. I like the hazelnut over the raspberry. I like this one better. This one to me, the flavor comes through more. This one, the smell is there. Like this one. When you smell it, it smells like coffee. Yeah. It doesn't smell like raspberry. This one? That one smells like hazelnut. It does. And I do appreciate that part of the experience. Like, I like coffee, you know, smelling really good. I mean, I'm not a wine connoisseur. I'm like a coffee connoisseur. Now, here is my issue with the taste. I, I wish the taste was a little bit stronger. Yeah. The problem is we don't do seven to eight ounce cups of coffee. Oh no. We do 12 to 16 ounces. So honestly, I'm gonna tell you that one scoop to me is barely enough for eight ounces of coffee. I mean, I think for a lot of people- It'd Probably be great. It would be good. But I think also for a lot of people, not so much. So I'm gonna put about another half a scoop in because we only took a sip out of that. And I wanted to see how much does it How much do we need more? Like if you did two pack scoops, would it be enough in our average 12 ounce cup of coffee? There you go. Because that's usually what we have. Now, if we're on the road at Wawa, which is probably where we're going to use this. It's going to be a large cup of gonna coffee. It's going to be like a 20 ounce cup of coffee. Yeah. So at that point, we'd probably need three scoops. Wow. Maybe two. Yeah. You know. To be honest, that's that's true. Try that now. Yeah. You're gonna need more of a serving, more than one serving. I gotta tell you, I don't need more than one serving of the regular MCT oil powder. But here's the thing, you gotta go back to nutrition. One scoop of this is only 30 calories, 1.5 grams of fat. Okay. So then you gotta look at, you know, yes, you're using more of this than the MCT oil powder, but the MCT oil powder has more fat in it and more calories. So really to me, two scoops of this is equal to like one scoop of that. I don't remember the exact nutrition on the MCT oil powder, but yeah. um, that is what we tend to use on the road because it blends so well and it's adding fat and creaminess, That's which this does, but I think it needs two scoops probably for a normal cup of coffee, 12 ounces. So like one and a half for an eight ounce cup. That's gonna affect number four. It's gonna affect the price of that for number us. Number four, how much do they cost? Well, this is kind of a unique situation. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the regular price of this is $40 a bag for 30 servings, which is about $1.33 a serving. However, 
you're never ever going to pay that. Don't do that. So Perfect Keto, we love Perfect Keto. They are huge supporters of Two Crazy Ketos. They sponsor videos for us. We purchase their products all the time. We absolutely love them. We even recently found Perfect Keto in Sprouts. I'll leave a link for that video up here. And I say in that video what I'm about to say now. Never pay full price for Perfect Keto because they have a sale at least once a month. Tons of sales. I mean, I'm sure that you've seen it in like your Facebook feed. There's like tons of, of advertisements pointing to sales from Perfect Keto. Yeah, now we appreciate it when you use our link because it supports Two Crazy Ketos, but I'm gonna tell you, don't go buy Perfect Keto at full price because there's always a sale. Now, if you absolutely need something and there's no sale, we have a standing coupon code. It's linked down below. That gets you 20% off. But just to give you an idea, $1.33 a serving, but right now to launch this product, they're doing a sale. Now, honestly, the sale is like 20% on one item, which is not a sale because not good enough. we have a standing coupon for 20%. Then if you buy two items, it's 25%, which is to me, honestly, not worth the aggravation. No. <laughs> So then we have, uh, if you buy three items or more, anything on their website, it doesn't have to just be this, you get 30% off. That's a decent sale for them. The only times they have a better sale is- Black Friday. And uh, 4th, 4th of, of July, July, Memorial Day. That's where they'll have a little bit better sale, not a lot better, um, but a little bit better. And so 30% to me is the minimum. Never buy anything from Perfect Keto unless you can get at least 30% it's off. True. Whether it's buy one, get one half off, or buy two, get one free, or 30% off. Those are all about the same thing. So 30% off would make this bag, what, uh, 28 bucks. So that's about 93 cents a serving, which isn't bad. But again, I think you need two scoops, personally, for me, per every 12 to 14 ounce cup of coffee. Well, again, so it's gonna be cost prohibitive for me if I don't buy it on sale because you're talking about like $2.60. Plus the cup of coffee. For me to enjoy it. So if you buy a Wawa coffee, I'm right. just gonna use Wawa because that's where we go a lot. Gas station coffee. $2 a cup. And then if you do this at full price, your cup is now $4.50, which is still cheaper than a Starbucks fancy coffee. And it doesn't have wonky ingredients. And it doesn't have it. wonky ingredients, but more than I want to pay. But if I'm at 93 cents, I'm, I'm still a little bit higher than I want to be, but not bad. But if you stock up on holidays, that's, that's a different thing. You can get a good deal. Uh, number five, would we recommend it? Um... I would recommend it. I mean, I like having new flavors and this is super fun, but if I am honest, I am probably just going to rely on my MCT oil powder because I like the flavors and I know that there's more, you know, calories, more fat in it, but I just need one scoop and I, and I really enjoy the flavors of it. So maybe they'll make an MCT oil powder that is the same flavor or hazelnut and I'll enjoy it. I, I, I enjoyed trying this, but I gotta say that like repeat purchasing it, I probably wouldn't. So yeah, here's my thing. I like the flavor. I do like the flavor. I like this flavor. That flavor is actually kind of growing on me. Um, I like this one best. But I can tell you this. When I compare it to the MCT oil powder, which I have to, because that's what we use- All the time. All the time. One scoop of Perfect Keto MCT oil powder is enough for a 24 ounce cup of coffee for me. Like yeah. more than enough. It is creamy, it is thick, it is sweet. sweet. It really does everything for me. If we go to a gas station, Wawa, and we get a cup of coffee, it's always going to be a 20 to 24 ounce cup. It's not gonna be a 12 or 14 ounce cup, which means I need like three scoops of this. Then it's and not it's worth it. the same price as the MC2 oil powder. So would I recommend it if it's something that you like, if you like these kind of flavors, if you like the idea of the blend of the mm -hmm. two? Yes, it doesn't have bad ingredients. It is low in like calories. It is low in fat if that's what you're looking for. Low I'm in not total carbs. It's low in total carbs. But again, even there, if I'm using three scoops of this, 
in my cup of coffee, I'm at six total carbohydrates. So, yeah. As opposed to my MC2 oil powder, where depending on the flavor, I think I'm at like two or maybe three. So all of that affected. So for me, I might use it as a treat once in a while for a different flavor, but my real hope would be that Perfect Keto would put these flavors into MC2 oil powder. That would be my real hope. Same here. Sorry about that. I mean, but we've got to be honest. It's just, you know, not, not going to be something that we would probably repurchase. It's not bad, but I like the MC2 oil powder better. Me and too. the collagens, by the way, they are amazing when you mix them with just a little bit of almond milk or something. I will put and it And it's just, like a milkshake. I, I love that. Yeah, and one scoop will do it every single time for me. So yeah, just not enough flavor in this for me. Let us know down in the comment section um, if this is something that you'd be interested in. Would you like to see these flavors in the MC2 and the collagen, like not as a blend, like just have them separately? Let us know. Uh, and hopefully Perfect Keto reads those comments and yeah. you all vote yes, because I would honestly love to see both the raspberry as well as the hazelnut in an MC2 oil powder. Me too. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent videos I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we try something new, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.